friends welcome to global online university friends in this video we are going to discuss some important mcqs on higher education system for your upcoming northeast site examination friends as you all know this is the syllabus from higher education system unit and we are providing you northeast site test series for your northeast set where we are providing you 40 mock test for paper 1 here you will be prepared for 2000 mcqs plus we are providing you 1000 mcqs each unit is going to carry 100 mcqs here it means totally you will be prepared for 3000 mcqs here friends this is enough preparation for your paper 1 you can focus more on your paper 2 and here you can also download pdf with answer solutions all the 40 tests and 1000 mcqs then note we are providing you notes on each unit complete study material will be provided to you okay all these are available only at rupees 599 to join for these test you can contact to the given number <coughs> sorry you can contact to the given number the number is displayed on the screen friends once if you subscribe for these test you will be added to our paid whatsapp group where we are pro where you can get the links of the test where you can download the pdf of the test where you can discuss on the mcqs also as yes, let us move to the questions here the question is which of the following authorities recommends the principles governing the grants in aid of revenues of states out of consolidated fund of india option a public accounts committee option b interstate council option c union ministry of finance option d finance commission here the right answer is option d finance commission is the correct answer it recommends the principles governing the grant in aid of revenues of states out of consolidated fund this finance commission please remember it is a constitutional body it is constituted by the president please remember this point finance commission it is a constitutional body it is constituted by the president it it set up every five years or before then it laid it lays down the rules by which center should provide grants in aid to states out of the consolidated fund in india so let us move to the next question who among the following holds office during the pleasure of the president of india option a chief election commissioner option b controller and auditor general of india option c chairman of the U union public service commission option d governor of a state here the right answer is option d governor of a state holds office during the pleasure of the president of india the next question which of the following non members of parliament has the right to address it option a the chief election commissioner option b the controller and auditor general option c the attorney general of india option d the solicitor general of india here the right answer is option c the attorney general of india yes the attorney general of india has a right to address the parliament this is according to article 76 it states that the attorney general of india is the indian government's chief legal adviser and also primary lawyer in the supreme court of india so he has the right to address the parliament so let us move to the next question by which of the following measures niti ayog was established option a cabinet resolution option b parliament resolution option c president option d prime minister yes the niti ayog was established by the cabinet resolution the niti ayog it is a policy think tank please remember it a question may arise from here it is a policy think tank of indian government it is established to achieve the sustainable development goals and it is using bottom up approach please remember this a question may arise from here niti ayog is using bottom up approach it was formed on 1st january 2015 the headquarter of the niti ayog is located in the new delhi and the chairperson of niti ayog is prime minister so let us move to the next question 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट अबाउट द सेंट्रल इन्फॉर्मेशन कमीशन फर्स्ट वन द सेंट्रल इन्फॉर्मेशन कमीशन इज अ स्टेट्यूटरी बॉडी सेकेंड वन द चीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर एंड अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर्स आर अपॉइंटेड बाई द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया थर्ड वन द कमीशन कैन इम्पोज अ पेनाल्टी अप टू अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर्थ वन इट कैन पनिश एन एरेंट ऑफिसर फोर ऑप्शन आर देर द राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी ही आर द फर्स्ट वन द सेंट्रल इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर इट इज ए स्टेट्यूटरी बॉडी एस इट इज द करेक्ट वन नेक्स्ट द चीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर एंड अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर्स आर अपॉइंटेड बाई द प्रेसिडेंट एस दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट द कमीशन कैन इम्पोज पेनाल्टी अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एस दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट वन एंड द फोर्थ वन इज नॉट करेक्ट इयर इट कैन पनिश एंड एरेंट ऑफिसर सो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट सो ऑल द अब फर्स्ट वन सेकेंड वन थर्ड वन आर करेक्ट इयर सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर and ci uh, central information commission it is a statutory body please remember central information commission it is a statutory body and it is set up under right to information act please remember this also it is set up under right to information act to in 2005 yes it was founded on 12 october 2005 and under this government of india to act upon complaints okay from those individuals who have not been able to submit information request to a central public information officer or state public information officer those individuals can complain here so let us move to the next question consider the following statements assertion rights and duties are the two sides of the same coin yes it is right reason it is not the duty of the state to maintain the rights of the citizens four options are there option a both assertion and reason are true reason is correct explanation of assertion option b assertion and reason are true but re- but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option c assertion is true reason is false option d assertion is false but reason is true in these type of questions first you should read the assertion and see whether it is right or no and read the reason see whether it is right or no then you can try to establish the relationship between assertion and reason okay here the assertion rights and duties are the two sides of the same coin yes it is right okay but reason it is not the duty of the state to maintain the rights of the citizens no this statement is wrong the state the sorry the state it has to maintain the rights of the citizens so here assertion is true but reason is false the next question members of the union public service commission function for 60 years 58 years 62 years 60 Five years. The right answer is option A. Sixty-five years. Members of UPSC function for sixty-five years. Yes, a member of UPSC shall hold office for a term six years from the date on which he enters upon his office, or until he attains the age of sixty-five years. Yes, the tenure of UPSC is uh, six years or sixty-five years. Sixty-five years of age. So the next question is public order as an item in the constitution figure seen option a union list option b state list option c concurrent list option d residuary powers yes public order is in state list i hope you knew it is yes, the next question which of the following core values among the institutions of higher education are promoted by nac that is national assessment and accreditation council option a contributing to national development option b fostering global competencies among the students option c inculcating a value system among students and teachers option d promoting the optimum utilization of the infrastructure yes the right answer is second one a b c yes contributing to the national development as yes, it is the correct answer 
then fostering global competencies among students as yes, this is also right inculcating value system among the students this is also correct promoting the op optimum utilization of infrastructure this is not true about the nac so option 2 is the correct answer a b c are correct yes. new past mainly concerned with n u e p a option a educational supervision option b educational unity option c educational planning option d educational evaluation yes i hope you know it the right answer is educational planning new pass stands for national university of educational and ad planning and administration national university of education and planning planning and administration nupa as an autonomous organization please remember nupa it is an autonomous organization it emphasizes on planning management capacity to building in educational policy through the research training consultancy and all the nupa structure is based on nine academic and one administrative unit please remember this it is based on nine academic and one administrative unit and this international organizations like world bank unesco col take assistance from the nupa yes, the next question is consider the statement which is followed by two arguments one and two statement should persons with criminal background be banned from contesting elections arguments are first one as yes, it will be decriminalize decrim decriminalize politics argument 2 is no it will encourage the ruling party to pile frivolous cases against their political opponents option a one or only argument one is strong only argument 2 is strong both the arguments are strong neither of the arguments is strong as yes, the right answer is option a only argument one is strong that is yes it will decriminalize de politics this this argument is strong which one of the following is not a constitutional body option a election commission option b finance commission option c union public service commission option d planning commission i hope you got the answer planning commission it is not a constitutional body yes planning commission was an institution in the government of india okay it will formulate the five it was used to formulate five year plans Yes, it was formed on 15th March 1950. The objectives are formulate spyware plans. The headquarter of uh, Planning Commission is in New Delhi. First executive was Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, in place of uh, Planning Commission, we are having Niti Aayog. Is yes, the next question? Who among the following appointed by the governor can be removed by only the President of India? option a chief minister of a state option b a member of the state public service commission option c advocate general option d vice chancellor of a state university yes here the right answer is a member of state public service commission appointed by the governor can be removed by the president india's first defense university is in the state of haryana andhra pradesh uttar pradesh punjab as first defense university he is in the state of haryana yes the uh, indu indian national defense university it is a national defense university of the government of india at binola village yes at binola village in Gur gurugram district of haryana state in india it is proposed to be one of the institutes of national importance is the next question match the following list 1 is showing as institutions list 2 is showing as locations institution dr hari singh gaur university sndt university ms university jayan vyas university list 2 locations mumbai baroda jodhpur and sagar yes the right answer is option a that is dr hari singh gaur university it is located in sagar 
then B is one. Yes, then DT University is located in Mumbai. Then C two. MS University is located in Baroda. Then JN Vyas City Vyas University it is in Jodhpur. Next, the next question: Supreme Court of India consists of a Chief Justice and option A seven judges, option B nine judges, option C twenty five judges, option D thirty judges. Friends, this answer, this question I have kept for you. You have to comment the answer in the comment section. Yes, thank you very much. Once again, I would like to remind you about our 40 mock test plus 1000 MCQs for paper one for your upcoming North East set. Then here you can download the PDF also. You can we are providing you notes on which needs and also we are providing you e-book which contains notes plus MCQs. Complete study material will be provided to you only at 599 rupees. You can contact to this given number. Just send the whatsapp number to this whatsapp message to this number then we will contact you and also you can you can download our global online university app from play store then you can select northeast category then you will get the study material and in this whatsapp group especially made for the northeast set where you can get the link we can get the solution pdf and all okay friend thank you very much thank you for watching this video for more videos on ugc net and other state set you can subscribe to our global online university youtube channel thank you